<laughs> when Robert Coulter and I first pitched this idea, we didn't know how they were going to do it. I mean, you have to be really careful what you wish for at Imagineering because they'll actually build these things. It's phenomenal. We've come a long way through the years, haven't we? Unbelievable. This is just, this is magic in motion right here. It's Here's the ultimate idea. exercise in reverse engineering where the artist will draw, give you the concept, the sculptor will sculpt. There's not many variations in Mr. Potato Head. And the trick with taking the ear off was geometry regarding the length of his arm. It was a real packaging challenge to make the components fit that were required to get those movements. Pull up my ear. Ouch! There. Are you happy now? Hey, young lady. You know my wife, Mrs. Potato Head. There's actually a live person sitting in a control room with a video screen and a joystick so he can look around and see all the people that are there. And I think they just point at him and then it, it zooms in on that person. And then he touches different spots on a computer screen to make the different lines go. People want to have interactivity. They want to be able to talk to the characters we know and love now. And those are the areas that we're spending more and more time on, I think, studying and experimenting and testing and pioneering because they're they're important to the success of our future.